intrusion. It's near Malvern, but Magnet Cove is well known for uh, pyrite and all of it. It has a lot of great minerals up there, but no diamonds. Um, <clears throat> the other intrusions along this northeasterly track is a suburb of Little Rock known as Bauxite. Now, Bauxite is the name of a mineral that they mine for aluminum. But bauxite is also an igneous rock, and uh, the town of bauxite was named that because Alcoa and Reynolds have mines up there, and they mined it for aluminum. Um, there are also lamprophyres between here and there, and oh, there's also another kimberlite. Well, they still call it a kimberlite. It might be a lamprite. I don't know if anybody studied it, but they call it a kimberlite near Blue Ball in Scott County, Arkansas. And I was up there with a geologist uh, one time, Dr. Patton from uh, Arkansas Tech University in Russellville. And we were right there at the Kimberlite intrusion and I sampled it for diamonds and didn't find any. But um, while we were there, he, he was looking up, you're in a valley at Blue Ball and there's a mountain on range, mountain ridge on one side and a mountain ridge on the other side. And he was looking at this mountain ridge and he said, look, and he, he said, look how they shifted. And sure enough, the rocks, instead of being straight across, they were like this. So you could tell there was a weak spot in the earth there that allowed, you know, it, it shifted down an earthquake faulting probably caused it to shift down and when you had that earthquake faulting you had a intrusion from down below that brought kimberlite to the surface whether it brought diamonds there or not Kim kimberlite or lamperite is it blue ball as well so anyway just some interesting things i've learned along the way exploring for diamonds all across the state of arkansas but here i am back at our own diamond mine. My wife Cindy and I bought this a few years ago, three years, and uh, have just started mining it. We have a state-of-the-art diamond recovery plant that we imported from South Africa. And um, we, we dig and process this for diamond content and uh, we're located very close to the crater of diamonds. So I've looked for diamonds north of Russellville in a Lamprophyr known uh, as their mine knob, but it didn't have diamonds. So that was a long way from here. I've looked at Blue Ball. That's a long way from here. Um, I've looked in Kansas at those Kimberlites, but here I am as close as I can get to the crater of Diamond State Park without crossing their boundary. And um, no, that's not the crater of Diamond's boundary. That's part of one of the known intrusions outside the state park. But anyway, we, uh, so I, I don't know if I explained, but of, of all the trenches that they did, they Texas Star found 17 diamonds out of all those trenches. 12 of them were found just 80 feet north of that fence line. But anyhow, that's why we're here digging, looking for diamonds and enjoying it. And uh, hope you learned something and thank you for listening.